This is the quarterfinal match for the coolest camels competition. On, on the left corner, we have John Dalton, represented by Ruven Turchik. And on the right corner, we have Otto Hahn, represented by Josh Deckery. Um, John Dalton, you're going to go first, and you have two minutes to present your best case for why John Dalton is the coolest chemist. After that, Otto Hahn is going to present his case, and then you're allowed to say things about the other chemist or ask them pointed questions. That is the format. Are you ready, gentlemen? All right, John Dalton, your two minutes starts now. All right, I'd like to start off with, I did not dress up for this presentation. It's actually for avid interviews, so... Uh, anyways, so my guy is, like you guys know, is John Dalton. Um, he was an English chemist, physicist, and meteor meteorologist. And uh, he was known for two main things. One was uh, Daltonism, also known as colorblindness. He like, he, was, he did a lot of research in that, and they named it after him. But the biggest thing was uh, his work in with atoms. So everything we know about the atom today, a lot of it comes from him. And um, to me, that's pretty cool because every little thing is made up of <coughs> atoms. So uh, the five main things that he did with atoms was that he said that their element, the elements, are made up of atoms. Then, uh, and he said that atoms cannot be divided or subdivided. So that means they're like the absolute smallest of the smallest. And uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah. All right. That was one minute. That was one minute and twelve seconds. Otto Hahn, you have two minutes, and your time starts now. Okay. So Otto Hahn is a German-born chemist. He really focused on nuclear chemistry and is known as the father of nuclear chemistry. Um, it all started when he went to London in 1904 to learn English. But while he was there, he met Sir William Ramsey, and it kind of got him peaked in radioactivity, and then he furthered it with meeting Ernest Rutherford, and he spent time with him and started just dis discovering these radioactive uh, materials. Basically, while he was there, he discovered them, and then he started applying them to medical and chemical problems, and he spent 12 years of his life doing this to improve the medical field with the radioactivity. and. He also met his um, Austrian-born physicist partner named Lisa Meitner, which would later help him with the discovery of nuclear fission. And that's his major thing, was nuclear fission. He and his team was basically what plunged us into the atomic era. So the atom bomb, all that energy that we discovered that could be released is because of Otto Hahn. Um, what he discovered was when uranium is bombarded with neutrons, little bits and pieces break off and they're lighter and it's a different element and it was um, barium and so they, they figured this out it was Strassman, Hahn and Meitner, that was his team and he it was before World War II started so um, the information was already out there for the world so he wasn't a, the Nazi who started working on the nuclear war for Germany, that information was already out there and um, he was just basically the one who indirectly discovered the atomic bomb and its power. And later, he was, him and his part of his team was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1944 and for his work and their work. All right. Thank you.